first we're going to mount the direct source preamp on a traditional cymbal stand. The system is designed to work with any manufacturer's cymbal tilter. These discs can be slid over a cymbal tilter to raise the preamp. On this type of stand, it, they're not needed, so they can be discarded. First thing you do is take the preamp mount, put it through the preamp, and lock it in the position. Then open up the thumb screw and slide over the tilter and push all the way down. Using a drum key, you tighten without over tightening so it's nice and secure. Then using the symbol sleeve provided, you slide over and put on. It is now set with anti-spin capabilities and also will lock the symbol in and prevent spinning once it's fully assembled. Each symbol sleeve is designed with a notch in it, allowing you to customize it or custom cut it to your symbol tilter. Each Gen 16 symbol comes with a fixed dampening pin. This can stay in the symbol as it reduces overtones from the bell area. However, if you're going to use the direct source sensor, you may want to take the fixed pin out and replace it with the direct source sensor. The direct source sensor has a thumb screw with an O-ring already attached. It is extremely important that the O-ring is mounted below the symbol. To do that, put the symbol on the side, find a row about in the middle of the symbol away from where it's going to be struck by the drumstick. Push the O-ring into the thumb screw and turn it. That'll get it placed on the thumb screw. Once it's on the thumb screw, bring the sensor around from the other side, insert, insert the thumb screw, and tighten. No need to over tighten. This allows for a bond between the O-ring, the symbol, and the sensor. You do not want to have metal to metal contact or you will get distortion. If you desire, you can use a second O-ring on the top, but it is not required. Additional O-rings are supplied in case you lose your original O-ring. With the sensor mounted to the symbol, place the symbol on the symbol stand and connect the sensor to the preamp. The sensor preamp connection is a breakaway connection, meaning you could pull the symbol off and it will break away automatically. Each direct source preamp is equipped with a dB limiter, which will drop when engaged, will drop the sound pressure level by 10 dB. For use with the buff bronze acoustic electric cymbals, keep the limiter in the out position. If you're using the direct source pickup with acoustic cymbals or with another louder instrument, say like a cowbell, engage it so it reduces the input level by 10 dB and eliminates distortion. If you find that you have different volume levels in your buff bronze setup once it's all complete, make sure that the, the, the pad is disengaged. Each direct source preamp has a barcode and manufacturing code allowing us to track it in case there are any defects. Each, sen each sensor preamp comes with lighting controls. The lighting controls can be activated from the joystick by moving right to left. You can change the different light controls to change the colors of each of your direct source preamps or individually. You can also change the lighting effects from solid to pulsating and other lighting effects.
You can also engage the system without any lights, with a switch at the DCP allowing you to have the system fully on with no lights at all. When the lights are engaged and the symbol is struck, you will get a pulsating light from the light array. Like symbol mounting, the direct source preamp comes equipped with a universal hi-hat mount. Install from the bottom to the channels, lock and turn. Once locked in, take the clutch off, base felt in, in any disc or washer that's on there, and slide over. Then you can replace with the Gen 16 neoprene foam. Now you're ready to mount your Gen 16 symbol. Similar to each Gen 16 buff bronze symbol and ride, craft symbol and ride, the hi-hat comes with a fixed dampening pin. You can leave the fixed dampening pin in or take it out. It is important that the O-ring be placed below the symbol. This will avoid metal to metal contact. Like the crash and ride symbol, the Gen 16 buff bronze hi-hat symbol comes equipped, equipped with a fixed dampening pin. You add the sensor, making sure that the O-ring is between the metal sensor head and the symbol, otherwise you will get distortion. Then, just like a normal hi-hat symbol, you add the hi-hat clutch and adjust to your tension preference. Put the symbol on the hi-hat stand, run the, pre the sensor connection, to the preamp and connect.